there, everyone. Osage Orange here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Titan Quest Season 3. We are here on episode number 39 of this series. I do appreciate... <coughs> Excuse me there, sorry for that. Let me do that. I do appreciate everybody who has come out. I hope that your guys' time zone, whatever your guys' time zone is most wunderbar. So, on the agenda for today is um, we're going to finish, uh, do what we can to hopefully finish uh, off our Atlantean adventures. See if we can't um, go ahead and um, Perhaps get to, um, blah, blah, uh, get to go to Hades, or at least get started on Hades. That would be, uh, that would be swell, of course. So, uh. whoa, excuse me, but it felt good. Uh. <clears throat> excuse me, but it felt good again. Sorry. <laughs> Silly twee. So yeah, that's basically what is on the agenda for today. Um, let's see what else, what else, what else. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> um, I have finally gotten around to um, getting the first part of uh, the celebration of streaming stream edited so the um the plan the plan the plan the plan is to uh if I, hopefully i'm not sure if i'll be able to do it um um after stream today because of course i got to go to work um but if i can no guarantees. Um, I'll try to get that uh, the first part uploaded to where I um, can um, blub blub get um, get that uploaded for you guys finally. <laughs> Because, you know, it takes a while, of course, to when you you, you got to make sure you got the video set up right. Um, yada, yada, yada. I got to have it ex render and export. So, you know, that that's why it's one of those things where um, um, having videos render while you're sleeping is a good thing. So, let's go ahead here. Oh, wait. We weren't on... What's the difficulty? Uh, epic. Silly, silly tweezy. There we go. We're in hay. We're a little bit where we need to be, but we're on the previous difficulty. Department of Duh. <laughs> Department of Duh. Come on. There we go. We've got ourselves where I want to be. There we go. Got rid of that guy. So. Oops. What we'll do. Oh, I, obviously, I didn't go visit uh, the Merchant Scepter. Well, I had reason. I had... I had very good reason. I was trying to get to work. <laughs> All right, that's all up. That's all up. There's a very good reason why things are the way they are. 
trying to get to work. Let's go ahead here over here and do the side quest right over here. Come on, dude. Let's see here. I meant to process this stuff, but it completely trying to get the video edited and also trying to, you know, balance work, you know, is, uh, is, you know, a big thing. Come on, dude. Die already. I still remember the first time I was coming through with uh, Coriana. And um, how I thought that this area was the continuation of the plot and what, where we were going, which is the actual, um, you know, where you actually go on was, you know, just a side bit. Of course, that turned out to be, ah, that turned out to be quite literally that Loki chest, a trick. Probably just go want to go ahead here and uh, head off to um, Gadir and uh, yeah, there's a uh, what's her face back there. We just need the one more thing in the bob for the um, um. For the, um, what's it? The artifact. Ah. There we go. Let's see here. Let's just quickly do this. These, uh, these are waiting to go back, so. <clears throat> oh, except for one of these guys. Ah, that's right. We're waiting for, uh, what's that there to get back? Our intelligence. That's what I was like. It's money. Money, money, money. There we go. Yeah, once we get done with um, our um, trip to uh, the Temple of Poseidon, we'll um, um, we'll um, blub blub. We will uh, go to the transmuter and we'll spend some money. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, that guy looks like he's trying to climb up. Yeah. Silly salamander.
It actually kind of got me thinking a little bit about uh, Dune. You know, the Dune stocks, the Dune the movie. The one released back a couple years ago now, 2021 Dune. I know that part two is due for release this year. I don't remember when exactly. I think it's, I think it's October, I think. I think it's October. Yeah, there's uh, what's her face. The one, uh, uh, Tritone sorceress who doesn't want to fight. Priestess. Yes, yeah, sec here. I forgot to do this. Damn, Kiro sends her regards. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, yeah, like I said, I don't know uh, what it is, but it's the sounds that trigger the one guy, so. Ooh. I said I don't know why sound effects trigger the uh, one guy's thing. Alright, let's go ahead here, press on. I'm gonna do uh, the two trips in one. You know, try to do the uh the, um, <clears throat> the anvil thing, the, the artisan thing, and the, um, and the, um, side quest here, all, both at the same time. That way we can save a, save a trip. That's what, that's what I might do is um, for a future Minecraft thing. Is um, might try to go for something like this, you know, um, 
might take a, a jungle biome and um, and um, preferably of course with a uh, nearby dark forest because as I've said I love that And I might try to do for go for something like this. Get rid of all these serpentoids. Gladly take that gold. Should have done that first, but did I? No. No, we didn't. He was a dum dum, but now he's working smarter. Not that I don't mind the five by five, five one by five, but they tend, at times they just tend to gobble up space. Ooh, Serpent Spear of Devouring. Ooh. What's that? That one's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Just have to see what that guy was all about, you know. Wait, am I forgetting? Yeah, I'm probably forgetting something over here. Yeah, I think I am. Yeah, it's probably the... Uh, Yeah, I am forgetting the one thing. Two feet! Or two legs, I mean. There, he said two arms. I love the description here. I'm trying to was trying to remember if the um, softened metal had been activated. Yeah, I was like, nope, nope, not yet, son, not yet. I am not an intruder. I'm an outruder.
Come on, dudes. Cooperate. here I'm going to quickly do some rearrangement here there we go that way we can make sure that we try to max things out All right. Yeah. There might be something, like I said, for a future Minecraft uh, world where, um, where, um, um, might do like a jungle base, basically, uh, have like a um, 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 blah blah. Have a um, um. You know, build a, a small, what's it area? Into the, ah, jerks. At least I took, so it looks like I may have taken another two of them with me. It's not just the one. Ah. what I'm trying to do, or part of what I'm trying to do, to say the least, is um, get up to the portal and then um, do the reverse fountain, you know, hit the K button, come back to what's his face over here, then come back to Okore, however it is you say her name, and um, do that at one time. And then all I've got to do is portal back. It's time for Revenge of the Twee. It's debris hanging out in the middle of the air. Ooh! Darn it! I think I have that somewhere. I think I have that somewhere. Right. Let's, um, let's do a smart thing. Not trying to carry anything more, game. Ugh.
little idea here. One down, one to go. There we go. Because I want to get that portal active up here. You know, it's just essentially a hop, a skip, and a jump. Come back, pick up the loot, do the side quest, and then uh, go from there. Activate the portal. Do not activate the rebirth fountain. Head over to Gadir so as that we, uh, um, drop off our specialty loot. that. We'll pick up all the stuff here in a sec. Oh. Give me all your money. Yeah, I love the fact that for Immortal's Throne, they added the caravan. That just makes life easier. So now let's quickly go pick up all that loot. Defeat uh, the, uh, the guy. And then we'll do the side quest. Trying to get all the minions first. Come here, Sequoth. Minions! Uh -huh. Here's at least one advantage. We have the portal. Do, 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 do.
Shut up, Sequoth. I'm trying to go get my... He's trying to get rid of your minions. Come on. There we go. Stop running around. Merely delaying the inevitable. All right, so let's see here. That. That was. All right, let's quickly, oh, that's right, we can uh, do that. Department of Dub. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, now, come on, game, do your thing. All you guys can. I just realized I was still uh, muted. <laughs> Silly twee. It's one of those things where I've got to go through them technical difficulties. What I was trying to say is that um, um, wish uh, I had something like Achievement Hunter's uh, technical difficulties music and scenery. It's like a and um, 
Because it goes da 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 Hey. Um, my arm just went. Bleh. Oh, fight me so bad. Come over here, dude. Now I just hope I can complete the... what's it? Because the game obviously decided to um, crash at exactly the wrong time. In this case it's a very very good thing that we have um, the inner Atlantis portal ready. Oh, come on! Come frickin' on! Ah, oh, what a rip! Oh, stupid game! Oh, stupid, stupid game! You had to crash at the exact wrong moment. Let's see here. Let me turn. Let's see, I'm muted. I had to crash at the exact wrong moment. I mean, I even before, you know, I, like I said, I, I had the uh, stream anniversary stream rendering overnight, well, during the day, <laughs> um, when I was, you know, sleeping, and um, I even rebooted the, my system. Oh no. There we go. All right. Seventy five hundred experience. All right. Like I said I don't understand why the game decided, hey, I'm going to crash. Oh. 
right. Need to do this. Now we can activate that portal. Piece of junk. It's a shame that it wasn't a spear. If I could take it then, so. Let's see if we can't do something a little like. Not even that helps. Nope. Not really. to stretch there. Because of the technical difficulties, I got ripped off. Got a formula. Already got Lionheart, but we'll still pick it up. Way. I think that's the way to the right there. And we were just in as the way up. One of those guys was uh, Yeah, here we go. Uh, this treacherous serpent spear right here. I was like, I was like, I knew it was doing something to me. So, Bit of OC Deary there. And that's got me thinking about the um, 
how um, um, in Achievement Hunter's second Galacticraft season, how they had, um, well, in the final episode, how uh, they, they got their base destroyed by accident. And um, they decided, you know, everybody decided, you know, it's, it's if, if, since we more or less lost ever lost our computer that had all the stuff that we needed in it, let's um, let's just go ahead here. We're gonna uh, wipe the whole base out, and um, so. Um, Um, Jack was trying to, um, launch himself off in a rocket and, um, and, um, unfortunately they had sent off too many, whatever missiles, uh, I think it was, God, it was, God, what was it? I'm trying to remember. I'm, I'm blanking out. Momentary blackout. It was red matter and something else. And um, so um, and um, And, um, and, um, and they had gotten the server to where it just crashed. And Jack goes, no, I'm in a rocket! There we go. It's obviously got um, the um, the what's it um, mastery the um, um, the what the, the the runic one. I do know that, you know, speaking of Galacticraft, I know that um, McDoodle has um, the OG, de the developer of OG Galacticraft has a, um, he's uh, got a bunch of, uh, he's got some IRL stuff that he's having to do, you know, he's got a job and all that, so he can't do as much in Galacticraft these days, but I'm a part of the, you know, the Galacticraft, uh, server and he's uh got some uh trusted people um i forget uh what it is i think it was i think it's for galactocraft 5 i think it's what they're doing is um they're just a, i think the what they're doing is they're recoding it as well as adding new stuff is what i'm remembering and Galacticraft 5 is in development, so.
And um, I'm hoping to play that when it finally comes out. I'm going to have to go check the Galacticraft news. Um, I think it's on the Forge client that uh, you got that uh, people can access OG Galacticraft. I know that there are several people who have come through with their own um, flavors of Galacticraft. You please die already. So I wish I'd been able to level up by now to to uh, be able to uh, get to the um, the uh, softened metal. That way, I'd be able to uh, get uh, get that going. I love the uh, the priest guy right here. Wait, we're in a place where um, you can have the sound effects and not be worry. So.
And there goes the uh, Tolkien, the Omega Tolkien. All right. Turn up the sound effects here for my benefit. Like I said, I don't know what it is. Some of the sound effects that trigger the what's it. have to make sure that um, get uh, loot processed and, and all that. We need 57,000 <laughs> worth of stuff, so... White Cat is just moaning in his sleep. I'm just hearing all this. I just cut it down just by over half. Huzzah! There, if you would please, thank you! We need to get that dark chopper right there. Get to the chopper! We'll full up, so take the opportunity. Let's go make some bling bling. All the bling. Excuse me. Money! Give me the money! Oops. Excuse me.
Come on over, dude. Crablins. Oh. That was smart, Tree. That was real smart. You know, that's one of the, seeing the two guards right there with their shields there at the uh, temple, outside, just outside of the temple. Um, I haven't seen the whole film, but I've, uh, I've heard of it at least, uh, Wreck-It Ralph, and um, one of the um, scenes, um, God, I'm forgetting the baddie's name, but I know that he's uh, in disguise. He, um... He, um... He has Oreo guards, so, you know, they have a little tribute to, um... Uh, the 1939, uh... Gosh, darn it! The 1939 Wizard of Oz, where the Wicked Witch of the West Scars go, ho e -o, ho -o. And instead it's Oreo, Oreo. I'll have to work harder to get that stuff back. That's because a few guys decided it'd be a swell idea to try and poke me. I'm trying to get him to come away from my stuff. get we get python us shut the heck up Excuse me. Hmm. 
go and get these guys taken care of before we get that chest. There we go. There we go. Come on. Come on down, boys. There we go. Oh, that translucent jelly was trapped up there. <laughs> Poor thing. Not! <laughs> hey, Zo, how you doing? Hope you're enjoying Wunderbar in Zaulandia. There it is. There's the Omega Tuki Telkin. I'm alive, too, so that's a good thing. No, Mr. Lactose. Sorry. The Omega Telkin is your second form. You get to uh, fight in the ancient world, fight mythological deities, and all that jazz. You get to fight various baddies. Can't wait to um, be able to get with uh, Ishtar here, get to the newest DLC. It's released back in December Eternal Embers. Or I'm over here. It's powering up to the Omega Telkin. On you jerk. Hmm. 
I'm merely delaying the inevitable. There we go. See what we got. Oh, I was hoping for something good. All we got was standard stuff. At least we got Atlas's Endurance, so. Now we're about to leave. Let me make sure. Yep, there we go. Okie dokie, we are now hopefully going to, oh, there we go, let's see, yeah, well, let's go home, let's go home, du -du 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 -du. head to get here, there we go, let's go ahead here, uh, redo that. Because we are about to visit the transmuter. Sell off a couple things here. Let's quickly quickly stow in my stuff there. Do that. <coughs> All right. See something that we can get there. Merc crawlers. What in the heck is it? Oh, I have this. I have this. I know I have the warrior's bracelet too. Um, the Atlantis. Um. Uh, Atlantis is pretty interesting. It's a complete side quest um, of material. Let's see here. Hey. Don't need that, so. Let's see here. Yeah, it's. Um, what the Atlantis DLC is, it's a completely optional, um, oh, uh, Eternal Embers, um, I haven't done Eternal Embers yet, uh, basically the reason for that is, is, um, back in December when, um, back in December... Um, 
Yeah, I haven't been to um, um, Eternal Embers yet because... Um, no, I don't want to do that yet. Um, yeah, I haven't gotten to Eternal Embers yet because I had just started Ishtar here when... Um, oh, I can't hold anymore. Darn it. All right, I can hold more if I rearrange some stuff. Let's see. Cap barbs and helm of impetus. Um, but yeah, it's like... And the way Eternal Embers works is that you have to fight... That one is only available on Legendary Difficulty. And I am operating... I'm essentially halfway through... Um, or just over halfway through, I should say. Um, epic. And so... I'm not quite ready for that, dude. And I wish I had several million... Not ready for that. Yeah. Well, um, in terms of, um, um, Ragnarok and, um, Atlantis, at least, as compared to, um... Hello there, White Cat. White Cat decided to get out from underneath tree bed blankets. Um, Atlantis and uh, Ragnarok, at least, they, um... They hold up each in their own way. Um, Atlantis here is... A lot of people kind of uh, are meh about it. Atlantis, at least. Some of them don't like the uh, the play style. Some of them don't think it holds up quite enough and uh, plot and all that. And I can see where they're coming from. Uh, Ragnarok, though, is very well done. It's a little bit long. Some people don't really like that. But then again, I love the mythology of the whole game. Um, because, you know, it's, it's about the experience and that is what I enjoy. I enjoy the game. And yeah, like I said, Atlantis could be a little bit better, but that's, uh, I got to agree with most people on that. But at the same time, they've, they're, they're trying to fit it into the game. Uh, no, no, no. Ragnarok was not the first expansion. Back just a second. I gotta let White Cat out. He he obviously needs to go use the litter box. Just a second. All right, White Cat's out. So the OG Titan Quest. <laughs> Whoa, excuse me. OG Titan Quest had... I'll pull up the here on the portal. So OG Titan Quest was Greece, Egypt, and the Orient. And it is here under Wusau Mountain and eventually up to Olympus that um, you had to go fight Typhon. And that... Um, yeah, yeah, and that Hades, which we're about to go do, was, um, the Immortal Throne, um, expansion, uh, campaign, that was the first expansion, then, obviously, it's gonna go right here, I haven't gotten there yet, it's gonna be, uh, the North, aka Ragnarok, that is the, um, Basically, what happened is THQ and Iron Lore, which are the um, 
publisher and the original developer. Um, White Cat, you bud. Just a second. Just a second. White Cat's being an attention whore. And sorry, I did not mean to say that word. So, um, yeah, Ragnarok is the first, uh, da -da -da -da, is the first DLC that was developed under the new, uh, owners of Titan Quest, which is, uh, Nordic Games, which re since it had acquired the THQ, a lot of the THQ titles, um, it's, uh, rebranded, it's Nordic Games rebranded themselves as THQ Nordic. And they um, became the prime primary developer and have since moved on to just, you know, overseeing the game, development of the game, um, its development and all that, of Titan Quest. So they released, under their house brand, um, Ragnarok, which will be, go in right here. And that was back in 2017. Then back in 2019, they released Atlantis, which is, of course, this right here. We just got that done. And then that was the second DLC under the THQ title. I mean, uh, leadership. And then this past December, they released the third DLC, which, like Atlantis, has received a number of mixed reviews, last I checked. Um... Um, Eternal Embers. And I haven't played that yet. So it's a case of, for me, you gotta, the way uh, Eternal Embers works is that you gotta go up through epic difficulty. I, I mean, legendary difficulty. The, my bad. My bad. <laughs> so basically, to my understanding, is... Um, much like here in Hades, outside of Rhodes, I'll show you. It's back on the portal. I'll show you here, Zal. is basically outside of the roads, you know. Uh, you know, and after you defeat Typhon, you know, you come through and you do the uh, start the Immortal Throne campaign. Come through here, and then right over here, here's Marinos, right there. He's the guy that leads you on the Atlantis side questions. Atlantis is completely optional. Atlantis is completely optional. It is not a part of the main storyline. It's a complete side quest, a little, a little detour, if you will. And um, I like use doing the Atlantis uh, stuff because it's a nice little distraction. It's find more stuff. Let's quickly go ahead and sell all the stuff and all that. So one of the things that Atlantis added is is this guy right here. This is the gold transmuter. Is as you see his name is Pantheras. So basically, depending on what difficulty you're on, you can access uh, the three difficulties worth of um, orbs. You have normal orb, epic orb, legendary orb. So you can only access the normal on normal, whereas epic, you can access both the epic and normal. And if you're on legendary difficulty, you can access all three. And so, as with anything, um, there is a very small chance of being able to 
get um, uh, stuff. So, you know, we picked up just now uh, Blood Gem. So, you know, it is, you know, it is a very, very rare chance to be able to pick up rare stuff. So, you know, I've already got a uh, number of I've already got... Oh, I got Blood Rage. I thought it was Blood Gem that I had. I would need Razor Claw and Emerald Quill to be able to do that. I don't think I'm going to hold on to that. Hi, White Cat. What you want, Mr. Attention Eater? Hi. You want out? Oh, uh, he wants out. White Cat wants out. So yeah, yeah, exactly. He uh, he mewed. He was actually, <laughs> I felt him. I felt uh, on my bark. I actually felt his whiskers as he on my primary left uh, limb um, that I used to help me game. I um, I actually felt his whiskers brushing up against my bark. I forgot this. Yep. Let's see here. Let's quickly get. So let me show you something also, Zal. One of the, no wait, what's it? No, it was 2021 that was released for Eternal Embers. Was it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm so confuzzled. I've got myself confuzzled. So one of the things that they have added in the patches since Eternal Embers release is Electra. And... Oh, jeez! Freaking Louise, White Cat! Yeah, attention eater! White Cat. Oh my goodness, White Cat has turned on his jet engine. Just a second here, let me make sure I'm muted. There we go. We have, just a sec there, we have White Cat jet engine. Are you happy that you're getting attention, White Cat? You're such an attention eater. You love attention. You love all the attention. I love you, White Cat, but this is one of those times that I have to do my thing. You're such an attention eater. You love attention. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he purrs loud. He's, he, he purrs loud. He is not afraid to say, I am here with his purring. I am here. All right, White Cat, I'm going to set you down here on tree bed. All right, so, any all. As I was been trying to say, Zal, um, 
one of the things that they have added in the patches is called Electrum. It's just like regular gold, but you don't get it the traditional way. The other is, well, you don't, you, you can't, for example, pick it up from chess, but like gold, you, <clears throat> excuse me, you can pick it up from baddies. So you come out here to Helos, and if you, um, I don't think you have to have Eternal Embers. Um, I don't think you have to have it, I think. Or at least that's what I remember. Is I, um, I don't think you have to have it. But basically, you come here to, Hel here to Helos. Uh, you come up the pathway we walked up to the Temple of Heaven's Pact. So, uh, let's see. At this sacred place, you can redeem Heavenly Electrum for a prized orb of your choice that as a reward for your worthy deeds. So basically, you have these eight shrines right here. I'm going to go ahead and power up. And basically, for every monster you beat, you uh, receive uh, a prize of Electrum. And it depends, and how much Electrum you get is based um, not only on how many shrines you have active, but on what campaign you're on and what difficulty you're on. So, for example, um, I'll explain that here in a moment. So basically... Um, don't have enough Electrum to buy anything now, but as you see, we have, just like the Transmuter in Gadir, we have three difficulty uh, st statuses. You know, we have Normal, Epic, Legendary. Then we have Antiquity, which covers the original game, so Greece, OG Greece, Egypt, Orient. Orb of Hades covers the Hades campaign. Scandian Orb covers Ragnarok. Orb of Tiamat covers Atlantis. An Orb, uh, Orb, of, Orb of the Jade Emperor and Theban Orb, which covers Eternal Embers. And then we have the same difficulty, you know, same thing for the two difficulty. Each is increasing in price. So, on the whole. So, Scandian, uh, Tiamat is slightly cheaper than the Scandian, but overall... And then these two are the same. So basically, it's increasing in price. And then uh, this guy right here cleanses all of them. And then if you want to remove, say, just one, but keep the others, um, you can come to the individual shrines. But as I was saying a uh, moment ago, the difficulty and the campaign you're on determines your how much Electrum you get from beating baddies. So, for example, now let's just say we were on a normal. The Greece campaign, OG Greece, would be, I think it's like, I think it's like just one piece of Electrum per baddie kill. So if I have all eight active like I do right now, if I killed one satyr, that'd be eight Electrum. And if we were in Egypt, if I killed, say, a, um, a jackalman, um, I would get 16, you know, so, or something like that. So basically, each campaign... And subsequent, of course, the subsequent difficulty increases. Each subsequent campaign and difficulty increase results in an increase in um, Electrum. So even in just the same difficulty, here in Greece, I would get so much. I'd get more in Egypt. Orient would have more than Egypt. Hades would have more than the Orient, etc., 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 so, I'll show you this here in action. So, what time is it? 
So we currently, ha I currently have twenty-seven three two niner in Electrum. Let's see if we uh, let's do that. I just want to see if I can find one battery, just one. Let's try to get that Carquinos right there. Just one of them. There we go. There's the one. There's the one. So twenty-seven three two niner. So you see, there's that. So from that one Carquinos, 3-9-er-3 minus 3-2-9-er, we got 64 Electrum just from that one baddie. That is a lot. Of course, uh, comparatively speaking, you know, when you have uh, Electrum that can be in the hundreds, multi-hundreds of thousands Electrum, um, you know, that is a thing that can be a huge pain in the butt. And for example, you know, a hero monster, uh, you know, ones that has a gold name, you know, if that were a hero Karkinos and had gold on it, he would give out more Electra. And that's just an example. So basically, the Karkinoses, you know, will give me the Electrum for every one I fight. And then, of course, just like the, the gold transmuter in Gadir, the Electrum transmuter can give me the potential to um, um, get me loot. And so one thing, I, I haven't explained it too well, is that those shrines that I activated would show off these guys here. So basically, your resistances are drawn down. Basically, you are made weaker. But the Electrum is the reward. So like I said, if I just had one of those guys activated, I'd get however much, depending on the campaign and the difficulty. With all eight, it really makes for a challenge. But the reward is there. The reward is there. We won't go too, too far. Do have to end stream pretty soon. Because of course I have to head to work. But uh, as you can see, we were at uh, 27 whatever it was, and we are now up to 28.353. So basically, oh, hello. Hello, white cat, I feel you dropping my roots there. What you want, Mr. Attention Eater? Oh, he's busy looking at the... Uh, He's getting, uh, the HVAC system just came on, and he's, uh, getting, uh, ooh, hello. He's getting himself warmed up by the, uh, the vent. So, yeah, basically, Zell, this is a, um... It's one of those things, and I haven't even talked about all the stuff that they have added um, for, um, oh, hello. You don't want to die quite so easily. Face my ice shard, you Karkinos. Uh, they have added a bunch of stuff with the patches. Ooh, wreckage. Give me the loot. Uh, they've made changes. They've, um, um, they've changed stuff around. They've added, they've added patches and they've added content in the patches. That's what I meant to say. Um, I'll actually show in the few minutes we got left. I'll show you actually 
one of the things that they've added. While I'm thinking about it. Let's head here to Delphi. I'm not going to journey out all the way there. Partly because, you know, time crunch. But uh, outside of Delphi here, you know, you, you have this way, you know, you come into town. Here's the fall, Christos Falls. And here is one of the uh, temples of chaos that they added. And so basically, it's a dungeon where you... Uh, you have to have a certain amount of you have to have certain keys to enter. I actually got some keys on me. So you can see um key to the fissure of chaos, which is the one I just showed you on the map. Yeah, right over here. This is the fissure of chaos. And basically, um you go through and you beat baddies for the chance to get loot. You know, it's a way to earn the bling, make bling, both gold and potential for uh, stuff. You know, like, um, you know, like armor, weapons, rings, arcane formula, etc., and of course, if you're um, if you got yourself on the Electrum, you know we're up to twenty nine, one eighty five. So you know we're slowly getting there. Um, you can essentially get stuff like that to help you out, and it also provides an additional challenge to be able to get stuff. But the Fisher of Chaos here requires three keys. And there are a total of three uh, places. Uh, there's the one outside of Delphi. Then there's one outside of Memphis here. Um... We're, we are going to have to end, so um, basically if you go right out here, this is the Gate of Palm, and if you go through the Waste, if you go through a little bit nook right here, you'll be able to end up, go through here, pop up here, here's the Egyptian one. We'd be able to access this one on Epic Difficulty. It's sort of the same sort of thing with, with the, um, um, uh, the transmuters is that, you know, you got to be an epic to achieve, get the epic difficulty, being legendary to be able to get the legendary. And then one, the one we haven't found yet, even though we can access, it would be here in Hades, be outside um, the, um, the access to um, where Chiron's dock is in, um, here in Hades. There's one over by the unfinished bridge. So that's the three ones that we um, could do. So, so yeah, basically it's 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 all part of a challenge, you know. You, you got to get the key keys to each one for each difficulty. So you got we got to have literally the Fisher of Chaos. If you want it accessible on all three difficulties, you got the three sets there. You need three keys, so nine keys there. For the one outside of Memphis here, you need, if you want to access on Epic and Legendary, you need six. And, of course, the one for outside of um, um, the new bridge there, when we enter the Underworld, you need three there. So a total of 18. So, you know, 18 keys in total. So, you know, yeah, getting all this stuff, it's a huge pain in the butt, but it'd be worth it. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's time for us to go ahead, head off. Need to uh, um, head to work. So let me see who is live, and we will. Uh, 
go show him a little bit of uh, support. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, naps are good. Naps are good. Let's see here. Who can we say? I uh, said hi to them recently. Uh, oh, ooh, ooh. I think I see somebody we could go say hi to. Let me make sure they're live. And oh, good, good, good. They are live. So if you're watching here on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Osage Orange, please remember to hit that follow button. If you're watching over on the YouTubes at youtube.com slash Osage Orange Game, please remember to leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon for notifications. It really does help. And, of course, make sure to follow on Twitter at twitter.com slash Osage one So we're going to go say hi to Saban over at twitch.tv slash Saban. So go ahead and select uh, the Tree Grove has arrived to bring you shade and water. That is our standard raid call. Please wait for me to post first. Want a nice, strong raid behind me. So hope to catch you guys on Saturday with another episode of City Building Saturdays in Farrowdera, which has received a patch this past week, so that's always a good thing. Um, Sunday, we will, since we're uh, putting in our bookmarker episode of uh, Let's Play Titan Quest Season 3, there will be no episode of uh, The Loot Grind, but the following Sunday, a week from this coming Sunday, there will be. And next Monday, we will be returning to uh, let's play Prison Architect Season 2. So let's go ahead here. Let's get this raid party started. As appreciates everybody who has come out. And I hope to catch y'all in the next episode. Ta-ta for now.